Hi everybody. This is Sabrina coming back at you um, after that last video was cut off. Uh, it was the video about the marriage uh, between the Lamb and the body, the, the church, uh, Jesus and the church. Uh, we are in his body, in his flesh and in his bones. Um, we are, his body um, is uh, what we partake in. When we do communion, we eat of his body. He's the bread, the bread of Christ, and uh, the uh, the renewing of our mind by his word, the word of God. Um, now, whenever we're married to him by our spirit, our spirit has salvation whenever we believe in him. We hear the word of God and we um, believe the word of God, uh, which is Jesus. Um then we are um, baptized in the water, showing our loyalty to him. Uh, it's, and then uh, we're renewing our mind to have a mind of Christ. You know, so there's different steps in this, mer in this union with Christ. Look at that beautiful blue sky. No chemtrails. I love it. Sorry. <laughs> I got a little distracted. So that's the sun. Um looking very different these days anyway so back to what I was saying okay so we're married with Christ uh, one in him become one the two to become one and he is the word of God and we revere him and we love him you know with our heart we receive a new heart God gives us a new heart of flesh and we had the heart of stone um, and the new heart um, is from God, the new creation in Christ. We become a new creation. This is very important. Um, and his living word is transforming us. Uh, that's why we have to be in a relationship with him, talking with him and letting him fill us with his Holy Spirit and fire. Those, the fire is very important also. And my um, brother and pastor, well, first I want to say um, from the Word of Life, Pastor Art uh, said something yesterday that just really hit us. And it is the salv there's scripture that talks about the salvation of your mind. So first our spirit is, is saved, right? Well, you're getting transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we're going to have a mind of Christ, one where we are about the Father's business, about pleasing the Father, about doing what's um, righteous, about obeying His Word, about listening to Logos, the sayings, which is Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. And we obey. It's not just about believing, but it's about obeying the Word of God, the Spirit of God, which is Christ. Um, and that is a marriage. It's like a marriage. We spend time with him. We, we listen to him. We read his word. Um, this is the truth that I'm speaking. And living waters come out of our bellies, just like the living water flows from the belly of the throne of God. Um, so it's a process. Um, that's why Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. You know, it's a love relationship. Uh, we're not saved by keeping the commandments, but we're doing what he said, and that is obeying him. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of confusion in the church and a lot of um, harsh words um, about doctrine and about uh, theology and about, you know, what is it, eschatology, and um, just different things. And there shouldn't be. Um, everybody should be going to him for the truth, um, not to each other. Because the Holy Spirit leads you to all truths. When you have the Holy Spirit filling you, he's going to lead you to all truths, and you won't need for anyone else to teach you. Um, Jesus is our high priest, and we, whenever we put him in, in that position, 
things become clear. Now there are people with the gifts, you know, of, of like Pastor Art. He's got a gift of, of teaching. and But Jesus is our shepherd, our high priest, our king, our husband, our everything, our groom. You know, because we have, we still have the flesh, and flesh, the flesh is enmity towards God. Now, um, Enoch was taken up because he had a mind of Christ. He spent time walking with God, and that walking with God is important because you're listening to the the voice of God. You're lis- listening and obeying. You're listening and doing. He says, "Those who do, <laughs> yes, those who do." Listen and obey, Jesus said, do. So, you know, you don't just believe, you know, you just don't uh, believe and then that's it. No, we have to do. Uh, Not as the world does, but as he teaches us to do. He's the head. He's the leader. Um. So I hope this video encourages you that you understand who you are in Christ, uh, that you it's a relationship. And Abba Father is the father of you and Jesus. But who is Abba Father? Who is Jesus? Jesus is the right hand of 